Hi, I'm John from Aero Tech Support. Today we're going to continue talking about the Aeroflow line of filter regulator lubricators. We're going to go over their operation and some of the accessories available. Let's talk about the tamper resistant kit that's available for each of the piggyback filter regulators and the individual regulators themselves. Once you have the pressure set to the desired level for your application, you can install a tamper kit to prevent that from being changed. Start by removing the adjustment knob. In this case, it's from a piggyback filter regulator. Then I'll take the tamper kit and first insert it into the adjustment knob and push it down into place. Then I'll take that over the bonnet, secure it, and now I can no longer turn the adjustment knob or alter the pressure range. Here's a close-up of the bonnet on the piggyback filter regulator and how the tamper resistant kit locks into the knurls on the bonnet. Once we slide the adjustment knob over the unit, it will lock it in place. There are different means of mounting the units. For individual units, there are brackets available. There's also pipe nipples as shown where we've taken a filter and a regulator and joined them together. For the combo units, we have the T-brackets. And you can see between the two-piece unit and the three-piece trio how the T-brackets are used to hold the units together, and it also provides a means of mounting the units to either a wall or a panel. For individual regulators and piggybacks, they are shipped with a panel nut, and this will allow you to mount the regulator or the piggyback. This is the large 3000 series. Here's the panel nut on the smaller 1500 series piggyback. Now, if you were to order a combo unit, they will not come with the panel nut on the regulator because we're already determined you'll be mounting it with the T-brackets. A very common method of mounting a piggyback filter regulator is with an L-bracket, and it gets its name from the shape. You'd mount this onto the wall or panel, and then by removing the panel nut on the piggyback, you would slide it, the bonnet through the bracket, and then reattach the panel nut and the unit would be secure. To mount an individual filter or lubricator you can use a C bracket and it has the two holes so that you could panel mount it or mount it to a wall and then in this case the series 3000 lubricator would fit into it and it's secure. You can now put the hard plumbing on either side of the unit. This is a 2000 series lubricator. Looking at the top of the unit we find the fill cap where you can add additional lubricant to the bowl under pressure. This is the sight dome. It allows you to see the oil being dispensed into the air supply and it also is a means of making adjustments to how much oil is dispensed. Very little can go wrong with this, however you will find applications where the sight dome is either broken because it was struck or it is distorted. The sight dome is made out of nylon and perhaps the compressor has an oil that is incompatible with the nylon or you're using an oil in the bowl that is incompatible with the nylon. In that case you'll have to replace the unit and we have a sight dome kit for that purpose. These are the components of the sight dome kit. You have the sight dome housing, the outer sight dome, the inner sight dome, and then the two O-rings to seal the unit. Start the repair process by removing the cover from the top of the lubricator. Get a small screwdriver and simply pry that off the body of the lubricator. Then use a spanner wrench to unscrew the sight dome housing. You'll find that once it's loose, the entire unit may come out in one piece.
with the old unit out, you can install the inner sight dome with the O-ring, the outer sight dome with its O-ring, and then secure everything in place with the housing. Make sure your O-rings are seated, and then tighten using the spanner wrench. When that is completed, go ahead and reinstall the cover. That completes installation of a site dome repair kit. We've completed this task at the workbench. However, if the unit is in place, you can de-energize the system and complete the work when the lubricator is still in line. If you have any of these and have questions, you can call tech support at 800-495-0276. Thanks.